ஓம் பூர்ணமத பூர்ணமிதம் பூர்ணாத் பூர்ணமதுச்சதி பூர்ணய பூர்ணமாதாய பூர்ணமிவாவசிஷ்யதே ஓம்ஷாந்தி ஷாந்தி ஷாந்தி ஸோ லெட்டஸ் சேன்ட் த ஃபஸ்ட் மந்திரா ஹேஸ் பர் த ஆர்டர் ஆஃப் கேட் இன் லாரா we are entering into the mantra chanting so first is o om purnamadah om purnamadah yah purnamidam purnamidam purnat purnat purnamaduchyate purnamasachate purnasya Purnatsya Purnamadaya Purnamadaya Purnameva vashishyate Purnameva vashishyate Now call and respond second time Om Purnamadah Om Purnamadah Purnamidam Purnamidam பூர்ணமாதாயிஷ்யே So now can you while looking at the transliterian can you can you chant together Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamaduchyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Let us do it again together Om Purnamadah Purnamidam Purnat Purnamaduchyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva vashishyate Om Shanti 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 One more time I I I'm not hearing you but I believe that you are doing it with me Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamaduchyate Purnasya Purnamadaya பூர்ணமேவாவசிஷ்யே ஓம்ஷாந்தி ஷாந்தி ஷாந்தி ஸோ தேர் ஆர் டூ உபனிஷத் பிரஹத் தாரண்யகோ உபனிஷத் அண்ட் ஈஷாவாசோ உபனிஷத் தீஸ் ஆர் த டூ கிரேட் உபனிஷத் பிரஹத் மீன்ஸ் வெரி லார்ஜ் உபனிஷத் மெனி வர்சஸ் அண்ட் ஈஷாவாசியோ தே போத் உபனிஷத் பிகின் வித் திஸ் மந்த்ரா நாவ் த meaning of that mantra that that very supreme existence is one and whole and if i am created by that supreme existence i am also the whole not the whole but whole <laughs> there are two pronunciations so the entire journey of yoga leads us to the discovery that the way the supreme existence is whole and one reality because i am created by that so i am also the same whatever is created by the whole will remain the whole will remain complete so it goes through lot of ha huh? now the second mantra is coming from tatriya upanishad there are many upanishad they explain that mantra so first let us uh, let me put it uh, 
we have done in the very beginning, but uh, you are busy, so you might have not the chance to go through it. So, Om Sahana Vavatu. Let us say, Om Sahana Vavatu. Sahana Bhunaktu. Sahaviryam Karva Vahe. Tejasvina Vadhi Tamastu. Tejasvina Vadhi Tamastu. Ma Vidvisha Vahe. So we'll do the call and response two times more. Om Sahana Vavatu. Sahana Bhunaktu. Sahaviryam. Karva Vahe Tejasvina Vadhi Tamastu Ma Vidvisha Vahe Om Shanti 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 One more time Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karva Vahe Tejasvina Vadhi Tamastu Ma Vidvisha Vahe Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Let us do three times together. You are looking at the transliterian. Om Sahana Vavatu. Sahana Bhunaktu. Sahaviryam Karva Vahe. Tejasvina Vadhi Tamastu Ma Vidvisha Vahi Om Shanti 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 And the way I chant, then you modulate your voice. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karva Vahi Tejasvina Vadhi Tamastu Ma Vidvisha Vahi Om Shanti 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 Third time, modulate your voice. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karva Vahe Tejasvina Vadhi Tamastu Ma Vidvisha Vahe Om Shanti 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 So a lot of Upanishads begins with the Shanti Mantra. Always remember, if you really understand the very essence of the Shanti Mantra, Brahad Dharirnikya Upanishad, maybe it contains four more than 500 pages. You need not to study that. Simply that mantra will give you ultimate knowledge. So that is why in the very beginning of all the Upanishads, you have common Shanti mantras. So I have written in Tatriya Upanishad, Katho Upanishad, Mandukya Upanishad, and Shweta Upanishad has this mantra. Should we go with this mantra? It's a beautiful, but at least you would love to have it. So what you do first, you uh, read the meaning of this mantra. It's a beautiful mantra, again a Shanti mantra. Om Dhau Shantir 
अंतरिक्षम शांति पृथ्वी शांति राप शांतिरोषधय शांति वनस्पत शांति विश्वदेव शातिर्ब्रह्म शांति सर्व शांति 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 सामा शांति Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. This is coming from Yazur Veda. So you see that? May peace radiate there in the whole sky as well as in the vast eternal space. May there be peace huh? on the earth. May there be peace with the plants. May there be peace with the plant kingdom. May there be peace everywhere. Yeah, it's a beautiful mantra. So just, you know, let us chant three times. Om Dhayo Shantir. Om Dhayo Shantir. Antariksham Shantihi. Antariksham Shantihi. Om Dhayo Shantir. Om Dhayo Shantir. Antariksham Shantihi. Prathvi Shantir. Apaha Shantir. Aushadhaya Shanti. Prathvi Shantir. Apaha Shantir. Aushadhaya Shanti. Vanaspataya Shantir. Vanaspataya Shantir. Vishwedeva Shantir. Vishwedeva Shantir. Brahma Shantihi. Brahma Shantir. Sarvam Shantihi. Sarvam Shantihi. Shanti Reva Shanti Shanti Reva Shanti Sama Sama Shanti Redhi Shanti Redhi Om Shanti 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 Om Shanti 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 And we have been chanting most famous mantra. Let us do that also. To that you we all know. Let us chant together. Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Mrityorama Amritangamaya Om Shanti 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 Let us do it together. Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Mrityorama Mritangamaya Om Shanti 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 Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Mrityorama Amritangamaya Om Shanti 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 You already know the meaning. There is another mantra. You already know the meaning of this mantra also. But we will do it. It's a beautiful mantra. Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu. Oh, we have been doing the meditation. 
सो ऐसी जी सर्वे स्वस्तिर भवतु वी आर डूइंग टुगेदर सर्वे शांतिर भवतु सर्वे पूर्ण भवतु सर्वे मंगल भवतु शांति 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 टू टाइम्स मोर सर्वे स्वस्तिर भवतु सर्वे शांतिर भवतु पूर्ण भवतु सर्वे मंगल भवतु शांति 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 थर्ड टाइम सर्वे स्वस्तिर भवतु सर्वे शांतिर भवतु सर्वे पूर्ण भवतु सर्वे मंगल भवतु सर्वे शांतिर भवतु शांति 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 you have we have done five mantra you can pick up any shanti mantra it is good if you begin the class with any of the shanti mantra in the beginning and use the second mantra in the conclusion and especially now see that how you can customize you are giving a classes to the crazy people means those who have some mental challenges we are more crazy than those people they are humble people so so doing that you pick up this mantra sarve sham swastir bhavatu do you see that huh? do you see the result will be let everyone may there be well being in all but when we are giving a normal class asatoma satgame tamasoma jyotirgame do you see that pick up any you can interchange these mantras if you remember five or six mantras and you can pick up also the another mantra that you already know it is so don't think that these no no i should i should always do one mantra in the beginning and the other mantra in the end no you can interchange it very good so let us do you already know it so let us go together sarve bhavantu sukhinah or let us do it call and response first sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashchid dukh bhag bhave so when you are chanting the mantra don't hammer on your students you know sarve bhavantu sukhina sarve santu niramaya now let us start the class so it should give us the meaning you know the essence sarve bhavantu sukhina सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चे दुख भाग भवेत ओम शांति 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 सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिनः सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु 
कश्चेद दुख भाग भवे ओम शांति 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 सो यू सी लेट एवरी वन बी हैप्पी लेट एवरी वन बी फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल द इलनेसेस लेट एवरी वन बी ब्लेस्ड दैट यू कैन स्ट्रेस वाइल एक्सप्लेनिंग वाई we are not a religion dogma belief and cult we simply say let every one be blessed whosoever it is now i'm translating in my own language it's a traditional uh, translation and ma kashchit dukha bhag bhave the fourth line let every one be free from the miseries in this world Hmm. So, bhaj Govindam, bhaj Govindam, Govindam, bhaj Murdhamate, san prapte, san nahite, kale nahi nahi rakshati, dukran karani. So I wanted to give this verse. This is a very it is not craving and singing but also going deeper into the meaning this verse comes from bhaj govindam it is a text that helps us to hammer on the delusion of the mind so bhaj govindam bhaj govindam can you say it bhaj govindam bhaj govindam गोविंदम भज मूढ़मते सम सन प्राप्ते सन्नहिते काले नहीं नहीं रक्षति दुक्रन्न करने कैन वी से इट अगेन नाउ बट लेट अस फर्स्ट नो द मीनिंग द मास्टर वाज पासिंग थ्रू ए स्ट्रीट इन अ विलेज and there was a great scholar a grammarian who was who was remembering loudly the rules of the sanskrit grammar so the master saw it and he says nothing will happen if you remember all the rules of the grammar so here the essence for you ah uh, for you guys in the west bhaj govindam bhaj govindam please meditate meditate these grammar rules of the sanskrit will not help you to bring an end to the suffering ah uh, if i say so it's a beautiful so sometime you need these verses in your classes and also for you So let us do it. Bhaj Govindam, Bhaj Govindam, Bhaj Govindam, Bhaj Govindam. Good. Govindam, Bhaj Murdhamate. Govindam, Bhaj Murdhamate. Govindam, Bhaj Murdhamate. You know this mood. Mood means you are crazy or fool. why you are remembering the grammar's rules of the sanskrit murhamati you are fool huh <laughs> no no sorry i'm not pointing you guys you know those who are fools you know <laughs> and then he says what he says that is the most beautiful san prapte sanhite can you say san prapte sanhite kale सन प्राप्ते सन्नहिते काले नहि नहि रक्षति दुक्रन्न करणे नहि नहि रक्षति दुक्रन्न करणे ओ फुलेश गाय दीज रूल्स विल नॉट हेल्प यू एट द टाइम ऑफ योर डेथ यू विल कंटिन्यू टू सफर सो प्लीज मेडिटेट डू योगा टू ब्रिंग एन एंड टू द सफरिंग
you know those who say and this is what i have spoken many a times but this is also you should remember this is one of the most beautiful i love this this is also from the same text bhaj govindam sat sangatve can you say sat sangatve nis sangatvam nis sangatve nirmohatvam nirmohatve nischal tattvam nischal tattve jeevan mukti are you not doing it alex or oh, you are doing it i thought that you are drinking so yes sat sangatve nis sangatvam nis sangatve nirmohatvam nirmohatve nischal tattvam nischal tattve jeevan mukti nischal tattve jeevan mukti i think you should remember this verse not only for yourself but for everyone nesat sangatve nis sangatvam nis sangatve nirmohatvam nirmohatve nischal tattvam nischal tattve jeevan mukti nischal tattve jeevan mukti so obviously you know it is the same it is coming from the same bhaj govindam bhaj govindam so we used to sing bhaj govindam bhaj govindam sat sangatve nis sangatvam nis sangatve nirmohatvam nirmohatve nischal tattvam nischal tattve jeevan mukti sa bhaj govindam bhaj govindam i don't hear you kate because it's really fast garish can you slow down just a little bit yeah let us follow the transitarian sat sangatve nis sangatvam nis sangatve nirmohatvam nirmohatve nischal tattvam nischal tattve jeevan mukti you know in this entire verse entire yoga is there so first word sat sangatve nis sangatvam sat sang means company of the teacher is required to learn and listen yoga so if you are constantly learning by the side of a teacher what will happen there is a natural tendency nis sangatvam your mind will become unattached you are listening 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 and the time comes the mind is unattached now so what will happen after unattachment nis sangatve nirmohatvam so because of unattachment the mind will awaken to nirmohatvam what is that nirmohatvam discernment and dispassion uh it includes a practice but now you have unattachment you have discernment and the dispassion so what will happen nirmohatve nischal tattvam the mind will be steady you need not to force the mind to be steady it results into the steadiness of the mind so here the steadiness of the mind means meditation and nischal tattve by meditation jeevan mukti awakening takes place only in four line sat sangatve nis sangatvam nis sangatve nirmohatvam nirmohatve nischal tattvam nischal tattve jeevan mukti bhaj govindam bhaj govindam you know crazy in a good sense i am talking about who has written these verses there are only 31 or 33 verses it explains everything about how to drop and dissolve and destroy the delusion in the mind 
So I heard from my master that he wrote only five or first six verses. And then his students, he said to his students, complete this. That is the tradition of our Eastern wisdom. Should we go for it? No, no, you, you will see, you know, we don't want to be a monk, so I'm leaving that verse. I have still have life, you know, how can I <laughs> leave? <laughs> uh, so, no, Sometimes we have a misunderstanding, so I don't want to go for that. So now, Atha, Yoga Anushashanam, Atha, Yoga Anushashanam. There are two ways of saying it. One way. Now the second way. Atha, Yoga, Anushashanam. So we can we can break up into three words. Atha Yoga Anushashanam. Atha Yoga Anushashanam. And now you can only say in two. So when you say yoga plus anushashan, yoga, then you say yoga, English yoga. Yoga Anushashanam. Ath Yoga Anushashanam. Ath Yoga Anushashanam. So when you join the Yoga plus Anushashan, it becomes the English Yoga. Yoga Anushashanam. Normally, <laughs> the right word is Yoga. <laughs> right word is Yoga. Huh? Ath Yoga. Anushashanam, that this is also right. But the moment we join them together, Athi Yoga Anushashanam. Clear? So now uh, the second verse also has three words. So either you say Yoga, Chitta, Chitvratti. Uh, there are four words, I'm sorry. Yoga, Chitta. The vratti nirodha because there are two points, so nirodha or this is one again. So the yoga chitta vratti nirodha yoga chitta vratti nirodha. This is one way to pronounce another way yoga chitta vratti nirodha yogas. So now it it changes to yoga to yoga sa yoga chitta vratti nirodha yoga chitta vratti nirodha yoga chitta vratti nirodha i'm just making it simpler so that you can easily yoga chitta vratti nirodha or I can simply say yoga chitta vratti nirodha. Emphasis on her holy. And uh, they say, uh, yeah, it has four words. The third line, tada drastuhu hu swarupe avasthanam. Tada drastuhu swarupe avasthanam. So now you can join the last two words. And tada drastuhu swarupe swarupe avasthanam. Again, let us do it. Tada drastuhu. Swarupe vasthanam. Now see the difference. 
what I said in the beginning. Again, do it together. Tada drashtuhu swarupe avasthanam. This is one way of saying. The second way of saying is swarupe and, and avasthanam you join together. So the O becomes silent here. Swarupe vasthanam tada drashtuhu swarupe vasthanam Sarupe sthanam. Sir, you already know the meaning. Vrati sarupyam itaratraha. There are four words here. Vrati sarupyam itaratraha. Vrati sarupyam. Itaratraha. So now you see that this is one way of saying it. And uh, this is perfectly right of speaking. And Vrati Sarupyam Itaratraha. Then you join the last three words. Vrati Sarupyam Itaratraha. Or you can simply say Vrati Sarupyam Itaratraha. Ratraha Vrati Sarupyam Et Ratra. Clear. It is always also good to remember some of the verses by which maybe who knows if you are singing those verses and your life will change i didn't think we discussed about it and uh, this is from the gita most famous verse yukta hara viharasya yukta Chastasya Karmasu Yukta Swapna Avabodhasya Yoga Bhavati Dukkha. I told you, I explained, I think, in one of the sessions. This is what Krishna says Yukta are balanced. Everything should be balanced in your life. So let us do it. Yukta Ahara Viharasya Yukta Chastasya Karmasu Yukta Swapna Avabodhasya Yoga Bhavati Dukkha. Yukta Hara Viharasya Yukta Chastasya Karmashu Yukta Swapna Ava Bodhasya Ava Bodhasya Yoga Bhavati Dukha Yukta Hara Viharasya Yukta Chastasya Karmashu. I should do balanced diet, balanced lifestyle. No overexertion. Do you remember in Hatyog Pradipika? I told you. Atyahara Prayasasta Prajalapo Niyamagraha. I am doing three hours of very good meditation. Three hours of overexertion, then I am watching horror movie in the until midnight. No yoga will be successful. <laughs> so see that. <laughs> so I'm not saying don't watch balanced. No, no, no. Tomorrow is a weekend, so we will be watching movie. So that I will wake up at 10 a.m. 
वन डे माई फ्रेंड्स वन डे यू मिस द रूटीन माई मास्टर यूज टू से दैट यू नीड ए ट्रिगर ओनली ओनली ए ट्रिगर इन ए वर्ल्ड इन द माइंड वट द इंटेलेक्ट से Oh, let me sleep for another half an hour. Finished. You're gone. Check your routine. <clears throat> If the mind is blaming and complaining like this, it will not become successful. My master used to explain in detail, little. So here, many students used to come to him, sir, Ma Guruji. I have done a little. The master says, "I will give you a little poison. Will you take it?" <laughs> little change, no compromise. <laughs> Do you understand? You know, I'm trying to make you understand. You have to hammer your head, intellect. Stop this nonsense. Yes, Alex. Now I'm not giving you a poison. <laughs> so, if I just continuously like, if I'm like, okay, I'm stressed. And I continuously drop it. I'm like, that's outside of the real self. I'm letting it go. Or if I have mental resistance, like, okay, I want to keep sleeping, but I get up. Will those thoughts eventually go away? Or you constantly yes. just yes. So what do you see? That you are waking up at 8 a.m., for example, because you feel that you are too much tired. and you need that much of sleep mm -hmm. how to start reducing that before going to sleep you must practice yoga nidra you must practice relaxation avoid reading any book avoid watching horror movie i am not saying whenever you want to sleep you sleep but first you relax now what will happen uh, you have the audios you do the four step relaxation now you don't get a sleep do it again you don't get a sleep you do it again so in the four step relaxation you will fall into sleep within two weeks your habit will break up you were waking up at 8 p 8 am now you will wake up maybe at 7 or 6 you will feel fresh this is how we have to balance one example same thing with the diet don't force the mind if you force the mind it will never happen one step by one step step by step step by step step by step that will help you from 10 hours of sleep now it becomes 4 to 5 hours of sleep science says no you know you need 8 hours no so here i say the your sleep hours of the sleep is directly proportional to the number of thoughts present in your mind by relaxation you are reducing the number of thoughts you will have sound deeper sleep less hours so you see that same thing with the food same thing with our physical activity huh my master used to give you know the first hour of his talk and the second hour i used to see the glow on his face third hour more energy fourth hour more energy reverse process reverse process because your mind is withdrawn inside while teaching this beautiful wisdom you remain in that practice you remain in that state it's such a beautiful journey that is why krishna says yuktahara viharasya yukta cheshtasya karmashu युक्त स्वप्न अवबोध से योगो योग भवती दुख योग भवती दुख सो यू सी दैट दस एन या शुड आई 
let us pick up uh, other verses from our Yoga Sutra. Uh, let me uh, do it again, put it on the I'm just pulling out that. So, I'm pulling out the Sanskrit verses in from my draft book. At Yoga Nushashanam, we have done. Now, and uh, also, if you study these texts, you know, the way I have briefed you, four sutras in the first section, second sutra, oh, it is all about the, how the, why the mind becomes crazy. Third group, what exactly is the result? Fourth group, what is exactly is the practice? So once you do like this, it will help you a great deal. It is going to change you. Tada drishtu swarupe avasthanam. So I will come into uh, the yes. So here is the uh, Yoga Sutra 1.5 to 1.11. 1.5 to 1.11. So let me put it here. So you see the second uh, group, the way I have, If you, even if you remember, so what will happen? You see, my friends, that what will happen? Now you are guiding someone. You know that person has a lot of challenges in the mind, the thought pattern. Here is the second group. You can easily explain them. Vratayaha. Panchatayaha. Kleshta akleshtaha. Vratayaha, Panchatayaha, Kleshta, Akleshtaha. So what I did first, I the last two words, I, 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 I'm doing it separately. So Kleshta, Akleshta, painful, non-painful. So now you say Vratayaha, Panchatayaha. Kleshta, kleshtaha. You can say it together. Or it is better to say it separately so that you also, your mind is aware what you are speaking. Vratayaha, panchatayaha, kleshta, a kleshtaha. Did you get it? It's easy. Vratayaha. Panchatayaha, kleshta, akleshtaha. So, what Patanjali is saying? Millions of thoughts. Two ways of classification. Every thought is either painful or non -fail. painful, clear. First classification. Second classification, all these millions of thoughts can be divided into five groups. That's the meaning. Now go to the sutra number six. Pramana, Viparyaya, Vikalpa, Nidra, Smritayaha. Pramana, Viparyaya, Vikalpa, Nidra, Smritayaha. So he's talking about five classifications, all millions of thoughts. Do you want to take over your intellect? Observe the thought, classify it, point out. Hey, this thought came to my mind. This belongs to this category. Then examine whether it is painful or non-painful. You are free from today. You need not to do anything. Do you know how? Why? 
think of it, then I'll tell you. Praman, <laughs> Vipariya, Vikalp, Nidra, Smrataya, Praman, Vipariya, Vikalp, Nidra, Smrataya. Now see, the, it is the second group the way I conf uh, grouped in these sutras with the title. So this group tells you how the mind becomes crazy, what are the different types of thoughts. Huh? So now see the, the coherence, the, the way the Patanjali is writing. Patanjali first said, all thoughts, two classification, painful, non-painful. Second classification, five groups. So in the second sutra, he says, these are the five groups. Uh, right perception, wrong perception, imagination, uh, sleep, and memory. Now he explains what are those five categories. So you see, you have a clarity in your head also. Uh, sutra number so and so is this. Pratyaksha, Anuman, Agama, Pramanani, Pramanani, Pratyaksha, Anuman, Agama, Pramanani. Come on, Pristina, Pramanani. Nobody is going to punish you even if you say wrong. I also speak sometimes wrong, so I correct myself. <laughs> so, Pratyaksha, Anuman, Agama, Pramanani. One more time, Pratyaksha, Anuman, Agama, Pramanani. So, what he is talking about, the first right knowledge, right perception. The thought pertaining to the right perception has three ways of knowing it. Huh? Factual perception, I see you, you see me, sense organs. Anuman, inference, all my room, my house is totally closed, all the curtain, blackout curtain. But I hear the sound and I say, it is raining. Inference. Inference is, comes also under right perception. That inference begins the journey of the science. You'll be surprised. In first inference, first logic. Multiple logic, Newton's law of motion. Patanjali said 2,600 years ago, it doesn't matter whether he sat 2,000 years ago or 3,000 years ago. What is very important? He said what is truth. That cannot be changed. <laughs> Are you getting it? That is why he is relevant today. <laughs> that is why we are studying from that master. Go deeper. Vipariyayu mithya jnanam tadarup pratishtham vipariyayu mithya jnanam tadarup pratishtham vipariyayu mithya jnanam tadarup Pratishtham. So this is the second category, wrong perception, false knowledge. False knowledge means that appears, but it is not true. Roads are running, but it is not true. Mind says, I am in stress. The fact is that it is not true, but I feel it is true. That's why you suffer from stress. Are you getting it? 
if the road that is appears running and we know it is not true so when the same intellect says that i am in stress how can you say it is true when you say it is not true you drop the identification you keep smiling that much what we are learning on saturdays from the ashtavakra gita so anyhow leave this so shabd gyan anu anupati vastu shunyo vikalpa sutra number 9 shabd gyan anupati vastu shunyo vikalpa third type of knowledge but shabd gyan anupati vastu shunyo vikalpa i am breaking up these words so it is easy to remember and easy to say so once you continue to say repeat it couple of times you are able to join these words shabd gyan anupati vastu shunyo vikalpa vikalpa imagination thoughts like i am bill gates <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we feel that if i am bill gates and the imagination begins but we never think that we are criminal <laughs> you see you see that is the mind that is how so elephant in the sky not possible this is the meaning of the entire verse shabd gyan anupati whatever i speak elephant in the sky has no validity i am bill gates no validity when you say i am in stress does it have validity <laughs> because you give the validity that is why you are suffering that is the messages let us do one more then we will go for a uh, break abhav pratyay alambana tamo vritti nidra abhav pratyay pratyay means you know you can say pratyay means object or a thing abhav means absence alambana the mind is ah huh? mind is absent of any object so abhav pratyay alambana tamo vritti nidra that is sleep what is sleep experience of absence can i say i was in deep sleep i saw kate in my deep sleep absence of object huh? experience of absence let us do it once again ab abhav pratyay alambana tamo vritti nidra dan one more last we will complete the second group anubhut vishaya sampramoshah smritihi we as uh, science has done lot of work on the smriti so memory short term memory long term memory except one memory anubhut vishaya sampramoshah smriti hi anubhut vishaya sampramoshah smriti hi anubhut 
विषय संप्रमोष स्मृति मेमोरी यू नो विद लास्ट यू आर यू ऑल आर वाइज पीपल सो दैट्स आई एम सेइंग फर्स्ट पे अटेंशन स्टडी इट अगेन एंड अगेन सो अंडरस्टैंड इट क्लियरली दीज आर द फाइव कैटेगरी ऑफ थॉट्स whose thoughts you have a mind so mind have a thoughts simple so first now i am constantly aware whatever the thought enters into the mind first classification become aware that is discernment first become aware what is that oh thought this is painful thought okay non painful very good just just communicate to your mind and then categorize into one of these five categories you know why when i say here is kristina i separate kristina from myself right so i separate myself from all what kristina is undergoing whether she is happy or unhappy good or bad so now what you're doing when you are communicating with the thought you separate them 50% of the problems goes away yeah we'll have a couple of question and answers later on after half an hour we are meeting good that's what we did 